A shootout in a Chanterbury courtroom saw five people left dead and many injured yesterday, all as a result of a 10-year-long ongoing land dispute. As police rushed to the scene, they discovered a retired policeman had drawn a handgun and fired as he expected a judgment on land ownership that wasn't to his liking. He shot the plaintiff, his lawyer and a court official. They died later in hospital, as did the shooter himself, who was downed by another court official. Others too were injured, but they're said to be recovering. The Labour Ministry has gone on record stating that unemployment here is just 1%. Now, with no real welfare system for those without jobs, it's hard to quantify. But, he says, those who lose jobs simply find new ones. And that the current global economy isn't having an effect on employment. He says that upgrading the workforce and industry is something that's being done in Thailand and three million non-Thai guest workers take up many jobs that Thais simply don't want. When a company official was caught on camera flicking the finger at an ambulance with full lights and alarms as it tried to pass traffic during an emergency trip, that got the media going this week, but worse, as a company representative rather than the driver himself was sent to deliver flowers to the patient in Sirachar. Odd for sure, but it won't be long before the errant driver, Thai or non-Thai, is outed in the media. And the reminder remains that legally, you're required to move aside for emergency vehicles on the road, even if your car costs more than the average house here. If you go to Patty as a day, you could be in for a surprise. This is the roads which were dug up to bury overhead cables are sinking. City Hall is less than impressed with the power company and their contractors who it seems didn't backfill and concrete enough after they gouged out the highway earlier this year. PEA, well, they're expected to have the job done again, this time properly, and inspect all their other excavation points for similar errors. Red faces all around. An American with mental health issues thought to have been brought on by substance abuse remains under arrest in Chiang Mai after a recorded rant in the middle of the street insulting ties. The 46-year-old, who acted like a spoilt child, screamed abuse until he was arrested for his own safety, and his embassy has been informed. Chulalongkorn University has voted to allow members of the third gender to dress as females. Appeals had been sent to them by several, who'd been refused entry over the past year when dressed in female attire. From now, though, it seems that all three sexes can sit in class together happily. No word on whether they'll install separate restrooms, and, if not, which room the ladyboys should use. Fab FM is giving away free tickets to the upcoming concert in Bangkok by Mumford & Sons on the 21st of this month. Tune in tomorrow, enter, get details and win a pair of tickets for the amazing event. And with the Met Office promising highs for both Patia and Phuket of 31, dropping down to 24 at night... That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.